Mosquito outbreak. That is what we are facing after all of last month's rains. Mm. And with summer around the corner, a plethora of new products <laughs> and devices are out there that claim to keep mosquitoes at bay. I always love these things. Uh, let's see what Haley's got to do today. <laughs> which, ones, which ones are most effective? That's the question. I, I mean, aren't you just desperate to try any, any of these them? These are terrible. <laughs> but I just have to let you know that the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say that at this time, repellents with DEET are still the best way you can defend yourself. They say the pros outweigh any cons, especially during this Zika threat. But again, with so many products on the market, what else works? There's a simple reason mosquitoes are a nuisance. Mosquitoes are attracted by carbon dioxide. Mosquitoes are attracted by lactic acid that is found in people's sweat. That's led researchers to develop an open source sweating billboard that allegedly attracts and kills mosquitoes. Driving them away is the goal for ultrasonic devices and certain sound emitting cell phone apps. Stay away from any solution uh, involving sound because it, it doesn't matter to the mosquitoes at all. Joe Conlin of the American Mosquito Control Association is also wary of zapping devices claiming to lure mosquitoes with UV light. They will kill a few mosquitoes but they're definitely not going to keep your, your patio or your porch um, mosquito free. Conlin says butane fueled repellent devices can be effective in keeping mosquitoes away from a porch or campsite. An even simpler solution, though, is a fan because mosquitoes avoid strong breezes. You can keep mosquitoes off you that way without using any chemicals whatsoever. If you do use chemical repellent, look for an EPA registration number on the back. That means that it's safe to use if used as directed, and number two, that it actually works. Conlin says mosquito protection offered by clip on devices and wristbands is limited, and what's offered by some vitamin patches and pills is questionable. If it's uh, bona fide, valid, it, it'll be endorsed by the American Mosquito Control Association, the Centers for Disease Control, and the EPA. But even with those endorsements, there is no silver bullet to ensure total protection from mosquitoes. Boy. Experts also recommend following the three D's drain, dress, and defend. Drain any standing water from your home to avoid breeding. Dress in light colored, loose fitting clothing and defend again with repellent to avoid getting bitten. I have no problem using chemical repellent. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I know, I understand the arguments against them, but I just, I hate these things so much. Yeah. I mean, we and we're out reporting in these flooded waters. I'm spraying myself. It's hard with the kids because you're always reluctant as to whether to mm -hmm. put the deed on them. But a of lot course. of the organic ones and natural ones I right. found did nothing. It was like sugar water. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and um, I mean, of course, you don't want to put those chemicals on any open cuts or anything like that. Yeah. And you know, it can be toxic. But um, yeah, I mean, still your best line of defense if you don't want to get eaten alive. And I always like and the, they're coming. Uh, the drain because like a bottle cap of water is, That's is enough. enough. To, yeah, you know, just it's a few amazing mm -hmm. yeah. how small they need. Right? That's why they're pests. Yeah. Disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Get them out of here. Mm -hmm. Now that my skin is crawling and yeah. I'm still itching at bites because I've already been annihilated, mm -hmm. uh, we have more rain in the forecast, which of course is not great, great. for the mosquitoes. Right.